It's just under pressure now remembering that shit, you know what I mean? <clears throat> when I have 280 fucking people staring at me. I just want to start this off by saying everybody who laughs gets tickets to UFC 200. walk up to me and they're like, you have the dream job. You have the greatest job in the world. I love your job. Do you people realize that I deal with more crying naked men than the human resources guy at Chippendales? <laughs> Speaking of fighting, I've been married to the same woman for 20 years. <laughs> Early stoppage is my sex life. I know a little bit about boring fights. <laughs> My sex life is like a fight between two wrestlers. I jump in there, I grind a lot until everybody loses interest. <laughs> Do you guys hear that Brock Lesnar is back? I appreciate the fact that you came out here tonight for looking for a fight that I'm gonna tell you who his opponent is yeah. right here tonight. Yeah. He's gonna be fighting Matt Serra. Yeah. Matt's gonna lose 30 pounds to get into the heavyweight division. Yeah. Obama's on his way out. Yeah. This is a little weird, but I've been studying presidents over the last hundred years, every one of them come in powerful, vibrant, with their own hair color, <laughs> right? Every one of them go out looking like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> so my question is this. If Bernie Sanders goes in looking like Bernie Sanders, what the fuck is he gonna look like when he comes out? My gut says Hillary. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you young fucking weirdos like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I don't get it. You realize he's gonna fucking die, right? No, I'm serious. This guy's gonna fucking die. If he gets into the White House, it's literally gonna be a weekend at Bernie's. I'm Dana White. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Mission accomplished, man. That's a fucking one and done for me, man. <laughs> <laughs>